Welcome to Morafia. All right guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the top 10 things to do while you're here in Murcia. Let's go. The perfect spot to get your bearings in this magical city is the charming center square called Plaza de Cardinal Bayuga. Surrounded by the stunning architecture, you can sit and enjoy a coffee or a copa de vino. Sure, it's touristy, but it's a beautiful spot and sunny spot to enjoy a cafe con leche with this beautiful view. There are many cafes to choose from, so our recommendation is to find a table in the warm Spanish sun and relax. Your next stop will be the beautiful Murcia Cathedral that you've been gazing at for the last hour. Completed in 1465, this masterpiece has a mixture of both Gothic and Baroque design style. The entry fee for the cathedral is 5 euro. You can pay a little extra to go inside of the museum or even schedule a guided tour to go to the top of the bell tower. Well, you're probably hungry by now, so let's try a gut-busting specialty of Murcia. Pastel de carne murciano, or a meat pie at Zer. It is the most famous place in the city, supposedly, to get this meat pie. So this meat pie is filled with chorizo, beef, eggs. It's warm, so they warm it up in the little oven for you, but look at this pastry. Ooh. Wow, that looks good. Let's give it a go. Hopefully you guys can hear this. Mmm! Mmm! Oh, wow. Let's look at that. You got chorizo, beef, and egg. Ooh! Mm. I love them. For any of you daring enough, also order the sesos, which is going to be the brain. Let's head over to one of the most emblematic buildings in the city, the Rea Casino. This building functions as a private members club where the who's who of Murcia mingle. The building boasts multiple architecture styles, including Moorish. Wandering the main hall, you'll have access to multiple rooms, including the most notable, the stunning ballroom. Transfer back in time, the ceilings are decorated with beautiful paintings. You'll dance across inlaid floors and enjoy spectacular 1800 piece French chandeliers. Also, the entrance fee is 5 euros per person or free on Sundays from 7 to 9 p.m. All right, let's get some fresh air and head down to the Glorieta de España for a quick photo with the fountains. Then cross the street for a stroll down the Segura River. Along this stretch, you'll cross multiple bridges like the Puente de los Peligros, which translates into the Bridge of Danger. Don't worry, you're safe, but you'll get some amazing views such a beautiful spot. If you want, you can come down there. There is a whole walking path by the river. Great exercise spot too. Let's keep walking. You can also get on the boat. Look at that. After crossing another bridge, you'll land in front of the city's central market, Mercado de Peronicas. 
step inside and check out the fresh seafood, meats, cheeses, fruits and veggies. So upstairs in the market, that's where you're going to find all your fruits and veggies if you want to do some shopping. If you're thirsty, there are multiple bars to grab a quick drink or tapa to refuel your soul. For some delicious tapas in a charming city square, we must go to one of the most outstanding places in the city, Plaza de las Flores. Here you will sit among beautiful apartments, restaurants, and fresh flower stalls, hence the name. All right guys, we are in Plaza de las Flores. It is packed here on a Saturday at 1.20 in the afternoon. Uh, I would recommend if you want to be here in this plaza, especially on the weekend, uh, make a reservation or you're not going to find a seat. All right guys, we did end up finding a seat right here in the plaza. We've got a Tinto Verano. I'm getting ready to order some tapas. All right, so this place has daily fresh seafood, so it changes every day. Today they have a fresh calamari. So it's a a la plancha, so it's cooked in a flat top. It looks delicious. Tender, fresh, very simply cooked. When the seafood is fresh, you don't need much. It's delicious. Wow, guys, freshly grilled scallops. Wow, let's give it a go. Mmm, yum, very fresh. If you're looking to get out of the city and try some local craft beer, we highly recommend Cerveza Yaka. Their motto is don't worry, drink happy. They have over 15 beers on tap, and if you want, you can take a tour of their brewery. I'm enjoying the Yaka Pale. This is a Trigo. They said this is the, their uh, best seller. It's pretty light or fresh in beer. Or tasting menu. They also have a full kitchen filled with some delicious food. And we have the Bravas. Looks like some black crystal sea salt. And we got the sauce on the side. He said if you like spicy, you're gonna like it. That's really good. Mm. Medium well. Wow. Catch them on the right day, you'll be serenaded with some live music. Well, if you're new to Spain, you can't miss the world-class gastronomy. Throughout the city, you'll find tapas bars selling some of the most classic dishes in Murcia, including marinera. All right, so this is a marinera, the most famous and the signature tapas here in Murcia. So, the legend has it, you have to finish this in three bites without spilling it. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see how the anchovies cut in the three pieces. Basically it has like a cr long cracker and Russian salad and the anchovies on top. So, oh boy, it's gonna be a big bite. Last bite. I didn't spill any. Three bites. Am I qualified to be a local? <laughs> Alright guys, we're having Palitos de Berenjina, one of the most famous tapas dishes here at Las Viandras. I guess they created it. Crispy uh, batter. I don't know what this dip is, so let's give it a go. Mm. We're gonna try one of the Murcian specialty, caballito. It's a big batter fried prawn. Look at this, look how fat it is. <laughs> Looks amazing. We see this, people eating this like everywhere, so we just had to try. Let's go. Mm. Look at that. It's a huge pond. Mm. It's so good. Open it. Ooh. Pincho Moruno de Atun, which is basically like Moorish seasoned tuna that's been smoked on top of some rosemary. Let's give it the smell, so amazing. 
Mm, water. Mm. That's mm. a big chunk of tuna. Mm. That is so juicy and tender. Mm. That's really good. Wow. Wow, we have ravioli rabo de toro, which is going to be the bull's tail ravioli on top of mashed potatoes that are truffleized. That's, this looks fabulous. Oh, look at that. Bull tail meat. Mm. Let's give it a go. Mm. I love rabo de toro. So tender. Wow. The leaf? Uh huh. No wait. Okay. You don't need the leaf. And just no. the, just the, and only, the only, only this. All right, so this is a Murcian specialty dessert so recommended by our server. Um, so it's fried lemon leaf. And the interesting thing, thing is you don't actually eat the leaf. You only eat the outside bearer. I can already smell the cinnamon. And guys, it's on the tree. <laughs> so let's give it a try. All right, so what's the right way to eat this? I don't know. Okay. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to take the leaf out. Look at huge. Huh? All right. Super thin, crispy, cinnamon, sugar. How do you not love this? It's delicious. Okay, well, this brings us to our last stop. And by now, you might just be ready to get to the sea and take in some waves. Well, the city of Cartagena is next. Going to Cartagena, the train's pretty empty. This city is a short 45 minute train ride away and offers Roman secrets with Spanish flair. And offers more world-class gastronomy if you would like to see more about this amazing city, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted for our next video. Until we see you there, adios!